In Salinas, California, Carson Britz, the son of a farmer, brainstorms how sprinkler piping can become part of the shared economy. Britz is the co-founder of Harvest Port, an online marketplace that allows farmers to rent everything from bins to heavy machinery from each other. Because so much farm equipment sits around after being used only for a short time, Harvest Port believes it can become the Airbnb of agriculture tech. Sharing is not new to the agricultural industry. Everybody shares, everybody knows each other, everybody kind of wants to help each other out. But the problem is, is they don't have anything to help mitigate the friction of that relationship. Say, I'm gonna lend you a couple of bins. All of a sudden, you don't think about, what if we break the bin? What if we lose the bin? What if the bin falls off a truck and hits somebody and injures somebody? That's something that now Harvest Port is able to manage. Because of the extensive variety of crops grown here, Salinas, California has earned the nickname Salad Bowl of the World. But it's only about an hour or two away from Silicon Valley. So it's hoping to leverage that proximity to also become the ag tech capital of the world. Just across the street from the Steinbeck Center is the place where Harvest Sports Office is located, the Western Grower Center for Innovation and Technology. Doing business in China is not that different from doing business with the ag industry here. 24 tech startups work from here, including Concentric Power, founded by Brian Curtis, who also spent five years in China building a chemical recycling plant in Shenzhen. He's holding a webinar to explain how his new startup builds 12 by 7.5 meter modular power plants for farms that even reuse the excess heat it generates. We think of power plants as products. We've done all the engineering already. We've got the building blocks to mix and match, and so we can really rapidly put together the right configuration for any given site within a couple weeks of the first meeting. Just around the corner is RP Construction Services, which designs solar racking systems that track the sun's movements to harvest more energy. There's hundreds of miles of farms that are all consuming tons and tons of power. And right now, about 1% to 2% of those farms have started to take advantage of renewable energy. So there's just a massive opportunity. Opportunity also for hiring. In a city where 80% of the population is involved with the ag industry, Salinas Mayor Joe Gunter says their three-year college computer science program is having a huge impact. Our first class graduate was 48, all got jobs, and they're able to improve the quality of life in their families. Some of these young people are making six figures. They come from farm working families where their grandfathers and grandmothers were farm workers. Their parents making maybe 30,000 on the best year with both parents working. And unlike traditional computer coders, Gunter says their kids better understand and appreciate the impact California farming has on families around the world.